This is quite a large ranch you have. 17.9 billion acres. We own entire Western Hemisphere. That the best hemisphere. It's the same on Earth. Ah, perfect timing. I just turbocharged the ship's matter compressor. What's the matter compressor? Nothing's the matter, Fry. Now that I've turbocharged the matter compressor... Uh, can you translate it? Of course, but only into Beta Crypt 3, a language so complex there's even less chance of understanding it. I didn't ask for a completely reasonable excuse. I asked you to get busy. Very well. Isn't that the same machine that makes noses? It can do other things. Why shouldn't it? Ooh. Good work, everyone. The mother ship is destroyed. What the hell is that thing? It appears to be the mothership. Then what did we just blow up? The Hubble telescope. Okay, you had a balance of 93 cents. All right. And at an average of two and a quarter percent interest over a period of 1,000 years, that comes to 4.3 billion dollars. <laughs> It's crazy! How could they even know about a show from a thousand years ago? Well, Omicron Percy I-8 is about a thousand light years away, so the electromagnetic waves would just recently have gotten there. You see, Magic, got it. That form isn't about you. It refers to my high school prom date. It was a regulation date that ended in regulation disappointment. Yes, but you only stamped it four times! <gasps> no! No! I was young and reckless! Bureaucrat Conrad, you are technically correct. The best kind of correct. Well, it's not right to make my dead pet an exhibit. That's like digging up Lassie and putting her on display in the Louvre. Lassie is on display in the Louvre. I know. I was deliberately describing a similar situation. Hey, Brobot, what's your serial number? 3370318? No way! Mine's 2716057! <laughs> I don't get it. We're both expressible as a sum of two cubes! Woo! What's in the box, Schrodinger? Um, a cat, some poison, and a cesium atom. The cat! Is it alive or dead? Alive or dead! Answer him, fool! It's a superposition of both states until you open it and collapse the wave function. Says you. There's also a lot of drugs in there. Calling all scientists. Be advised there will be a worldwide conference on global warming in Kyoto, Japan. I've got a degree in homeopathic medicine! You've got a degree in baloney. Hmm. <laughs> Pine needles? Oh man, this is great. Hey, as long as you don't make me smell your anus. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm sorry, Fry, but astronomers renamed Uranus in 2620 to end that stupid joke once and for all. Oh, what's it called now? Eurectum. Here, let me locate it for you. How about... <laughs> no, no. We're just the people this mind switcher was made for by us. Wait, can I still change my mind? Let's find out. <laughs> It didn't work, you doddering old... <gasps> Just as I suspected, these robots were buried in improperly shielded coffins. Their programming leaked into the castle's wiring through this old abandoned modem, allowing them to project themselves as holograms. Of course! It was so obvious! Yes, that sequence of words I said made perfect sense. Third dimension? I can't picture that! You're dumb! <laughs> There's nothing funny about science. If there can be an x-axis and a y-axis, why not a z-axis? He's opening our minds to new ideas. Kill him! <laughs> of course, even if it is possible to analyze the message, there's no way of knowing how long it would take. It could take an hour, or it could take a hundred million years. Is it done? Certainly not. Two dings means it's done. But not like that. Slightly more rapid. <gasps> and it's a dead heat. They're checking the electron microscope. And the winner is... Number three in a quantum finish. No fair. You changed the outcome by measuring it. 